great, great Wednesday on this 11th day of April of 2020. Deuce. We're alive, we're healthy. We have that Indian food today. We stuff. We stuff. Got a great workout. It was a dope day. It has been a dope day. Great day. Great day. What to talk about? Life. Family. Relationships. Experiences. Life is great, family. If you're alive, if you're breathing, if you got individuals in your life you can share your life with, you can invest energy into, you can invest life into, you're fortunate. You are experiencing what you came into life to experience. The opportunity of relationship of building relationships, of having relationship, family, friends, with yourself, right? Because all relationships, all external relationships begin with the relationships that we have with ourselves. That is the most important relationship right there. The relationship that we have with ourselves. That relationship that we have with ourselves will dictate, will dictate the relationships that we have with others. How we relate to others, how we interact, how how considerate we are of others, how attentive, how respectful, how loving, how appreciative we are we are of others and what they have to offer offer to us. So you know it starts with self. The relationships that we have with ourselves will determine the kind of relationship we have with others. Or the relationship we have with ourselves. Y'all get the gist. That is the number one. Most important. Communion. That we can. Create in life. That with ourselves. That will dictate our. Interactions. With others in our life. And so life is great. We are fortunate for another day. Here we are. We slept in. Woke up with a slight headache. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go train. I'm going to take advantage of this day in a different way. Sat down as soon as I got up. Started bagging up a herbal blend that been procrastinating, but finally got the ingredients. So I put it together. Mocha. Y'all can go check out. Uh, Mocha underscore S-C-A-S-H-F on IG. Y'all can check out the page. Y'all can see what that's all about. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one of my, my brainchilds that I've been working on for the last three to four years. And the last two years, like really just giving it more conscious attention. So that's one of the ideas that I'm going to put into or that I've been putting into, into motion. You know, still has another, maybe another year or two of work and refinement to get the whole business plan everything you know really down packed get the finances in order the investments but hey the good book says yo write the vision make it plain right once we take a an idea a wish a desire out of our brain and we put it on paper and we, you know we make it more real and then we start acting on it Psst, hey listen it's like planting that seed and soil and watering it, watering it. All you gotta do is be consistent with it, pay attention, remove the weeds, and let nature take its course and let nature do the rest of the work. A lot of times that's how it's gonna be. It ain't your own family that's gonna make you rich a lot of the times, unless you're born into a wealthy family. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might be the individual that's gonna make your family wealthy. So make sure that that relationship with yourself is 
great. That is an excellent relationship so that you can build even better relationship, even better bridges with other individuals in your life that come into your life. That's the whole thing about emotional intelligence as it relates to, as it relates to us men. It does not mean us expressing our little snowflake feelings to everybody that we meet. You get what I'm saying? And allowing um, our, our thoughts and the interactions that we have in life in our day affect us. You know what I'm saying? Especially if those circumstances are unfavorable, they're undesirable to us. If they don't go in alignment with what the plan, with the plan that we had in mind. So that's why emotional awareness, emotional intelligence is essential. You know what I'm saying? Having self-control is fundamental for us as a man. We can never allow our emotions to get the best of us. As it relates to expressing love, hey, you know, if you have a child, express all the love that is necessary, but also, you know, have the ability to discern when, you know, some discipline, some correction might be in need or, you know, some more focused attention might be in need rather than just simple affection. Emotional intelligence is key and it can only be developed by cultivating a great relationship with ourself first. Embody a great relationship with physical exercise and a great relationship with pain and struggle and understanding the value in uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? You know, extending, uh, sacrificing immediate gratification, prolonging uh, that gratification for the long-term resolve the long-term result and you know the long-term reward of the investments that we make when we properly invest our time into our own personal development into cultivating a, a great body a great mind a great spirit a great emotional self-control emotional awareness and just an emotional intelligence that allows us to better relate and interact and deal with you know things that go on in our daily in our daily life with ourselves with our family with our community and just with reality as a whole it ain't it ain't about just you know knowing how to express your anger in a in a manner that is not destructive and instead is more constructive right towards toward our character and our personality our attitude, right? Our attitude, how we relate to reality, right? Our personality, our personal, how, you know, what our personal reality looks like. What our personal reality looks like will often be determined by our attitude. And that attitude is, as I say often, will be dictated by our level of gratitude, our level of appreciation for the things that happen to us in life, for us and for life. Gratitude, attitude, great attitude, great uh, self, great, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Great view we have of ourselves, right? The better our attitude, the better our view of ourselves and the better relationship that we have with ourselves, the better the relationship that we have with ourselves, the better the relationship that we have with others in life. And that is always important towards having a fruitful life and to having great experiences in life. You know, even if you get stopped by a cop dealing with a with a with a with a with a waitress, with a rude person in the streets, with anything in life, a flight attendant being late for a flight, trying to get on an earlier flight, trying to get on the flight that you might miss, just trying to make it to places that might be an inconvenience to get to because of the circumstances that are going on around us. You know, if our attitude is, is in check, if we have a proper attitude, uh, an attitude of, of confidence, of positivity, of optimism, you get what I'm saying? Even throughout the, even despite the negative things that may happen, that attitude of optimism and positivity is, might be well enough to create the patience that produces the relief Right, that might be necessary to quiet down the stress, the anxiety, and maybe the depressive 
and undesirable thoughts of and emotions of the circumstances that, that might be taking place in our immediate environment and surrounding. Right? So it all starts with the relationship that we have with ourself. If we have a great relationship with self, A, we'll have a great relationship with our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our aunties, our uncles, our nieces, our nephews, just everybody in general will be better equipped to adequately, you know what I'm saying, ass assess the situations that may arise in these personal relationships and in the interpersonal relationships of business and other community-based events that may come into unfoldment as we live our daily life. The relationship that we have with ourselves will determine the relationship that we have with reality, with life. So, eight, emotional awareness, emotional intelligence, understanding yourself, having great control over your, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions is fundamental to determining the motions of those energies. What actions we put into motions, what thoughts, what things, what places, what people we give our energy to and we give life to through our focus, through our attention. So that's it. That's it. Your emotions, the relationship that you have with yourself will determine the energies that you put into motion in life. If you have your body, your mind, and your your soul, your 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 memory card in check, you have peace of mind, you have a healthy body and you have a wealthy spirit. That peace, that wealth, and that health, you'll be able to easier, more easily share that with the rest of the world, with the relationships that you're supposed to have through the energies that you put into motions in life. You'll be better Equipped to wisely direct your energies and to more wisely direct the relationships that you have in your life. And that will also make it a lot easier in dealing with business and figuring out your why. The why that is going to propel you and that is going to you know what I'm saying? Allow you to bear the brunt of the of the struggles, of the failures, of the losses. The why that is going to allow you the insight, the clarity, and the wisdom, and understanding and comprehension of the losses, of the lessons that are to be learned from the losses that you that you experience. The successes that can be facilitated through the failures that you experience. And you know what I'm saying? That's that's all life is about. You know what I'm saying? So if you can manage the first three, your relationship with yourself is going to be... It ain't, it, 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 there's no possible way that it that it's going to be a negative, a negative relationship. If your body is how you want it to be. If it is the body that you dreamed of having that you desired, that you maybe envied in others for having. If your mind is of, you know what I'm saying, of the intellectual standard and standing that you wish at some point it would be or that you admired in somebody else, you get what I'm saying? If your spirit is at peace and and resonating an aura of 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 prosperity and power. Your spirit is in pristine order. Your soul. Your relationship with yourself. There is no way in hell. That ain't going to be a possible. A positive one. A positive, prosperous. Powerful one. 
that will be felt by others. Your confidence, your faith in self, your hopefulness. You know, your love of self is going to reflect by the love that you project into the masses, the hope that you project into the masses, the confidence and the faith that you project into those that come into contact with you. Your, your relationship with self will be reflected, you know, through through the the energy that you reciprocate into the environments that you come into. The creativity with which you carry yourself and with which you relate to yourself is going to enrich your environment. And it is going to make those goals, those visions, those purposes, those duties that you have been come into life to fulfill, you know what I'm saying? Those wishes, those desires that came with you into life is going to make those things even more, more and more, uh, what's the word? Probable, more possible. The probability of them becoming a reality in your life is going to increase and is going to increase in relation to the relationship that you have with yourself. Because the relationship that you have with yourself is the relationship that you have with life. You can fear or you can embrace fear. You can be consumed by fear or you can consume fear. You can be a slave to fear or you can have fear be your servant. And that is always going to be determined by the relationship that we have with ourselves. Work on yourself, family. Know thyself. Know thyself and you shall know the world and all of the secrets. For it is you. It is all you manifested as you to come and experience you in all the ways that it can experience it through your own uniqueness. One love.